Hey guys, I'm coming to you looking super crazy right now because I am about to cut my hair. Um, I have a lot of heat damage that I wanna just cut off and I've actually just wanted to cut my hair for some time now. Um, I'm about nine years natural and um, initially when I went natural back in, I believe 2010, um, before going completely natural, I actually decided to transition because I wasn't sure about like, I wasn't sure about my hair at all. Like I I had been getting my hair relaxed since I was probably about seven years old. So I didn't know anything about my hair. Um, I decided to transition for the year and learn all about um, what products I need, just how my hair was gonna work. And also the transition kind of allowed me to give me some time to fully be okay with it. because. During that time, if I didn't like it, I could just change my mind. But instead of changing my mind, um, I noticed that during the process, I loved how full and uh, much thicker my hair was in comparison to the relaxer. So I decided to just go ahead and cut it off. Um, after a year, I had about six inches or so of, of new growth. And then I just started to experiment with all of the different natural hairstyles. I was pretty much my own stylist for the next few years. Um, only because I just felt like um, there was so many different styles I wanted to try. So I pretty much went down that journey, went on that journey of doing the two strand twist, the twist outs, the braid outs, the cornrows. Um, I did box braids. I did all of those different things myself, flexi rod sets. I did it all on my own. I really loved it, but I grew really, really tired of it and um, realized why my hair was probably probably why my hair was relaxed in the first place just because it's super easy maintenance um, for me or probably for my mom at that time because she was the one who decided to have me go to the salon and get it relaxed but um, I realized that for me my having my hair straight was a little easier maintenance so of course I started going to the salon and just having it straight all the time so if you can think about it for the last like nine years or I guess you can say maybe eight years or so I've been consistently going to the salon and having it straightened. And now I'm kind of, I pretty much realize now like um, the detrimental effects that it's had on my hair. Um, you can't tell now, but uh, the day before yesterday, I, I shampooed my hair and I put it in um, two strand twist. And I mean, it was, there was so much heat damage. I didn't realize how much it was until I did that. You can see how it's, my hair looks fuller right here, but then it's getting real thin. That's all the heat damage. And it's kind of like that throughout my entire head. Um, also, I have like some some thin spots in my hair, just probably because of the normal wear and tear. Thin spots around my edges here, just because of the, uh, the normal wear and tear of every time I didn't like my hairstyle or if it was a bad hair day, I would just put my hair up in a ponytail. So a lot of that pulling has kind of like caused um, the weakening I guess of the edges and then also some of the braided styles I've worn. I also have some, there are some thin spots in the top of my head that I had, that I noticed I had also. So me doing the big chop is gonna allow me to um, be able to take my hair into my own hands again, but without, uh, without it being as time consuming as it was, without it being as much maintenance as it was. Um, so I'm looking forward to pretty much cutting all of it up and I'm super excited because I've never in my entire life uh, actually cut my hair this short. Um, besides the one time when I, besides when I transitioned and cutting it about six inches or so, I've never cut it completely off and I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've like, every time I see a girl who big chops her hair, I just see how, um, how radiant she looks, how beautiful she is, how confident and strong and bold. I just feel like, I don't know, it takes, I don't know, I might sound strange saying that, but for me, for me, it kind of feels like, for me, it takes a lot for me to do something like this, mainly because, um, I don't know, I'm just I'm just so used to seeing myself one way, so this is gonna be different, but I'm, I'm super excited and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm actually gonna go to the barber and cut it, cut it, cut it. Hey! <laughs> you know, normally when girls cut their hair all day, they get nervous. I ain't nervous. I've been thinking about this for about right. for several months. Feel free already? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Feel free already. 
<laughs> you want to be really free, lead the rest of it, right? Right. Yeah, That's just, crazy. Just rock out with just, the one yeah. side. Yeah, we should <laughs> do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get where I am. <laughs> I'm already there. Y'all get there. Uh, Hoping to see maybe I got a wave of emotion, but. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> didn't. <Shut up. laughs> trying to, you know, I was positioned to get that tear, you know, that. No. <laughs> Oh snap! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take care of all this. That, that ain't we're not close to that. She said that she wanted to change, right? Yeah. It looks good, though. Yeah. I told you you can do anything. <laughs> I had it for like a year. Yeah. Yeah, let me jack up. Oh, girl, grab me. Supposed to stabilize the video. Yo. Hi. You're gonna miss it. That's a little wind sound. You're gonna miss it again. Oh, that hair, man. <laughs> what are your thoughts? It's good. I mean, I don't know if it's because it's like I had parts in it. Mm -hmm. You mean where it's a little darker? Yeah, like yeah that's because you had some parts are. Darker, some parts are is it just that I gotta let it grow in? It yeah, that, that's that's what I was about to tell you. Like, you, you gotta start brushing it and training it, cause it's from having your hair so long. It, it was it wasn't trained. You know what I mean? Okay. So. Okay. How do you feel? <laughs> so far. <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna have to figure out what I gotta do tomorrow. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Go eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just got back from the barber. And what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm actually happy with the way it turned out. I don't know. I feel free. I feel like I don't have to worry about getting up and doing my hair every day. I don't have to worry about going to the salon, getting my hair done, and then the, the style not lasting as much as I want it to, and then having to throw it in a ponytail. Like, I feel really, really good about this. So I'm super excited. And um, the only thing that I will say that I am concerned about that I'm going to just keep track of is the fact that uh, the this part of my hair, there are some sparse areas. Oh my God, it even feels different. <laughs> it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel, and I guess it's because it's still new, like it doesn't feel as smooth. It feels like I'm touching the top of a brush. <laughs> what the barber said is, um, it's because my hair is not used to laying down. So he said, uh, you know, give it some time and to consistently brush it and it will start to, tra it was, it's like training my hair and it will, it will start to lay down. So hopefully, um, <laughs> I'm hoping that that's what it is. Cause I was like, oh my God. Like when I initially looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, man, what's up with the, uh, the sparseness? Like, like I knew I had some areas that were kind of thin that I saw before, but I wasn't expecting this. I didn't have to chop my hair all the way off just to, um, just to get rid of the dead ends. But again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I decided that that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to, I wanted the experience of wearing shorter hair and, and just uh, getting a chance to see myself in a different light. Um, so uh, I'll probably be hanging on to this for, for a little while. If this is something that, you know, maybe you were thinking about, cause you know, funny thing is, I was thinking about this for like the last, I don't know for like the last like six months or more probably because it's it's like obviously I had to make sure that I was 100% certain with the decision because once once it's gone it's gone so I don't have any regrets I know that like I don't know I just feel good I know that it's it's, it's gonna grow back if, if it's something that I'm gonna regret so but all I have is is just I don't know a lot of positive energy right now I'm just super excited. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below, okay? And um, yes, if you like this, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to start making more videos. But yeah, thanks so much for watching.